Hello everybody, Anthony from SteamFirst.com here and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up Steam Family Sharing. Uh, Steam Family Sharing is a feature from Steam, obviously, that allows you to share your library with up to five different friends or families on ten different computers or vice versa. Uh, yeah, uh, There are some limitations that go along with this, however, uh, some games uh, cannot, cannot be shared, such as Fallout 3 for instance. Uh, I actually had somebody share with me so I could specifically uh, stream their copy of Fallout 3. Um, but it turns out Fallout 3 is one of the games you cannot share, so I'm having to buy it so I could live stream it, which was kind of a pain. But anyway, um, there'll be a list in the description to uh, games that you cannot share. I think there's a couple hundred of them. I think it's on like the Steam forum or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, some of the limitations that go along with this is you can only share with up to five different people on ten different computers, which I just said. Uh, you need an internet connection to access shared libraries and it takes priority of the owner of the library meaning if uh i'm sharing my library and somebody wants to play uh, let's say secure spirit uh if i want to play it or a different game then you obviously can't play together so it gives them a little thing saying they could either pay for the game themselves or uh, it'll end their session and then once I log out of whatever game I'm playing then my library becomes available to them again There are all there are also some technical limitations to which games you obviously can and cannot share which I just mentioned Of course some of them like Fallout 3 other things that licensing agreements and then other games that work on a subscription basis Obviously can't be shared and I think most multiplayer games as well because I think I tried some multiplayer games and it didn't work but anyway Let's get into it. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is make sure both accounts are have Steam Guard enabled. This is my second account. I actually didn't have any friends uh, online or available to actually help me with this, so I wound up using my second Steam account. Uh, so yeah, so this is I don't know if this is protected by Steam Guard or not. I'm pretty sure it is. It is. Okay, cool. Uh, so basically, to do that, all you're gonna want to do is make sure that your uh, your email address associated with your Steam account is verified with steam and then you would just go to manage steam guard account security and then there should be an option to enable steam guard obviously i could turn mine on or off because i already have it and that's pretty much it uh this is going to be kind of weird because i'm doing this on the same computer so it'll be a little bit different for you guys possibly unless you're doing it with people in your same house or whatever but or if you have a shared computer probably look the same but anyways uh, what you're going to want to do is log into your friend's computer with your account. So in this case, I'm going to be sharing my main account library with this account. So we're going to pretend this is my friend's computer. I'm going to I'm going to log into my account on my friend's computer or they're, they're going to log into it. I should also mention that you really need to uh, trust whomever you're or whoever you're doing this with. Whether it, is that the proper whom who? I don't know. I know my dictionary. Anyway, um, you, you really got to trust whoever you're doing this with because you do need to possibly give them your username and password and then see you guys like team viewer or something even though i doubt most of you guys would do that anyway what you gonna want to do from here is go to your settings and then family and obviously to navigate to settings you would just hit the little steam up in the corner here and then settings that's it and finally you'll be able to see um like accounts like i'm sharing with this account and i think he's also sharing with me and this also shows my other account because it's on the same computer and whatever. Uh, so what basically what you want to do is you're going to check off this account, this computer, and you're going to hit authorize this computer. And what that's going to do is it's going to authorize this computer with that account, essentially. Uh, or at least that's what you would think. And you just do that, and then you should be able to log back into your account once you've done that. Um... So yeah, we'll do that. We'll log back into this account. Should be the right password. Yes, there we go. And from there, you can see that I have all of my games on this account as well. Okay, so we're back. Uh, so yeah, the, that's it. That's all there was to it. It's pretty simple. Uh, a couple benefits to this is, well, it's a good way to test out games that you're kind of wanting, that you might want to pay for without illegally downloading them. Because as you know, we all need to support you know, Steam and developers and all that and yada yada yada. Uh, so yeah, if a friend or family member has a game that you've been thinking about buying but are kind of skeptical about, you can always have them share their library with you and you can check out the game without affecting their saves or achievements or anything else. It's also good if you're in a family and say your kids or your siblings or significant other 
wants to play your games or wants to check out a game even, then it's a good way to, again, let them play different games without affecting your saves or achievements or anything. Uh, I've given access to a couple people to my account. Um, I, I revoked it for this video, so, you know, because it'd be confusing. But, yeah, just a good... Um, just a good thing. It's sharing is caring and all that, you know? Uh, like I said, the limitations, I'll go over them again, is of course, you can only share with five people. Only five people can have access to your account on 10 different computers. You need an internet connection to actually access shared libraries. And the owner and the sherry cannot play games at the same time. So if I want to play Borderlands 2, but I don't have it, but my friend has it, we cannot play his copy together. Uh, it would kick me off and give him priority, obviously. And, um, yeah, it's pretty much it. You'd have to buy it or just not play it, which is kind of unfortunate. And then there are some games that are not covered by it. So Fallout 3 cannot be shared, apparently. Uh, nor can a couple hundred other games, I believe. And also games that work on a subscription basis. Another specific instance I had was uh, Eric the steam first boss man and the person who's sharing with me is um he has just cause 2 so i wanted to play just cause 2 multiplayer with a friend so i downloaded the multiplayer dlc mod thingy and tried to play and it wouldn't let me since i don't actually own the base game so that's another that's another thing oh, that's pretty clear i suppose but in case you guys were trying to do something like that then obviously it wouldn't work and uh, yeah that's pretty much it this was a pretty straightforward video it's a pretty quick video it's a really quick process and uh yeah it's pretty much it my name is anthony from steamfirst.com be sure to check out steam first for the best news reviews videos and content revolving all things valve and steam let me know in the comments if you want me to make any more kind of how to's or guides i'm thinking about making a couple other hardware guides maybe perhaps even a mouse guide because I already did the, the, the mechanical keyboards 101. I'm thinking about either doing mics and audio or mice or even like monitors or if anything, if anyone's interested in that. But yeah, let me know. Anyway, yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Anthony from Zephyrus. Be sure to check out Zephyrus for the best news reviews video and kind of revving only five and Steam. I still got to work on that, saying that slower because it's a bit weird. I've been doing that since the start though, so it's kind of hard for me. Uh, anyway, uh, later guys, watch my live stream, follow me on Twitter.